welcome to the Ruth Loves to Knit podcast. I'm Ruth and I love to knit. You're very, very welcome here today. It's Wednesday the 27th of March 2024 and I know that without hesitation today because it's my birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday to me. <laughs> um, you're joining me as always from the southwest of England, just in Devon, on just almost into Cornwall, where I live with my husband and our two teenagers and our two dogs. Um, as usual, all British podcasters have to give a weather report. When the kids were going out to school about 10 to 8 this morning, it was torrential rain. Then we had beautiful sunshine and now we have hailstones. <laughs> Welcome to the British weather. <laughs> so I have no overhead lights on or anything, but I think everything's OK at the minute. Um, that you'll be able to see everything. As I say, you're very, very welcome here. If you haven't been here before, this is not going to be a normal podcast, if whatever normal is. Um, I have had a very interesting few days uh, last week that I want to share with you. It's going to be chatty. It's going to be get your knitting, get a cup of tea or coffee or whatever, uh, and just sit down and spend some time with me. It could be long, could be short, I have no idea, but it's not going to be. I'm not going to show whips. I'm not going to show FOs. I'm going to show birthday treats. I'm going to show... a. Uh, mega yarn haul um so i know that won't be for everybody i know that not everybody likes that um i love a good yarn haul i love seeing yarn haul videos <clears throat> but um i know that won't be for everyone but i just thought if i don't do it now and i'll explain later why i can't do it anytime soon um i'll not be with you for about a month and a half um i have lots of fo's to show you but um because of what we're doing in the next couple of weeks i don't think i'll have too many more to show you so i thought i'll save them up and i'll do a proper podcast um when we get back from a trip and uh it sounds all very cryptic it's not at all i'll tell you about it in a minute um i just thought right i'll jump on today to share just some of the fun i had last week so if you're on instagram you'll know some of it um but uh yeah i just wanted to jump on today it's heading towards a busy weekend and we're going away and da, 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 da. and you know what it's like when you're trying to get away. I don't know if you're like me. I like to clean my house before I leave <laughs> and um, all of that to do. Um, but I'll tell you about that in a wee minute. Anyway, where can you find me? I am Ruth Loves to Knit podcast on Instagram. I'm Ruth Loves to Knit on Ravelry. And I have an email which is Ruth Loves to Knit at gmail.com. And you can contact me on any of those forums. And please do. I love getting messages or underneath underneath this video. I always forget to say that as well. You can leave messages underneath the video. Obviously, if there's anything of a confidential or a private nature, email me um, and I will endeavour to get back to you as soon as possible. I have had a little run recently of emails going to my spam box. So I'm really trying to remember to look in there. Um, a few times a week to make sure none of them have slipped in. So I think I've apologised to those <laughs> that I missed in there. Um, but I think I'm up to date. Uh, I don't oh, say I can't say I can always give you um, the answer. But if I don't know, I'll maybe try and find out from someone else. Anyway, it's going to be a rambly one. It's going to be a chatty one. So if it's not for you, um, the good thing about I always say about uh, YouTube is you can turn it off and start again at a later date. But I feel when someone gives you gifts that you should show them and thank them. Um, when I've been to what well, not a yarn festival per se, and picked up some yarn. Um, I want to show you it. So that's what's all about today. But I want to talk first about last week. So last week I had a, I, it was a post Mother's Day pre birthday night away for me um my <laughs> i think my mom asked my daughter once what mommy would like for a, a present and she said a night by myself <laughs> sounds awful but i'm sure if you're a mom out there <laughs> you understand what i mean and um i met up with the lovely twin set and pearl girls um rachel and joe uh, we had arranged to meet up in february and um, poor Rachel took sick and ended up in hospital. So we had to obviously postpone that trip. Um, but we made it work last week. And um, Jo only lives about two hours from me in Bristol. And um, it's a direct route from where I live here. The roads are pretty good. Only thing it's a bit monotonous. <laughs> it's a long, it's a long drive before you have to turn any corners. But um, yes, last Friday I got in the car. I got my kids shipped out to school. I threw a bag in the car and I drove up to Bristol and 
oh, it was just lovely, just lovely. Um, Rachel came down on the train and we met. And you know when you just meet with people who you feel like you've known forever? Well, that's what it was like. There was no awkward silences. There was no um, awkward anything. And where hugs were given. And although I've seen them online, I've talked to them a bit online. And obviously never met them in person, but they're just lovely. They're just what you see is what you get. And I hope they felt the same way as <laughs> about me. I think they did say that. And we spent... Um, Friday, I keep wanting to say Thursday, last week, all of last week, I was getting my days wrong. I missed knit group. Well, I had a bit of a cold, but I missed knit group because I thought it was Thursday. I thought it was Wednesday and we meet on Thursday. I felt a bit stupid, but anyway, definitely going this week. <laughs> anyway, Friday, uh, got there about 10 o'clock, met Rachel at the train station and we went to her first yarn shop. <laughs> Straight away, straight off the bat, we went to our first yarn shop. And I want to show you, um, I have long wanted to go to this wee shop. It is a wee shop, but oh my goodness, small but mighty, isn't that what they say? Um, oh, I can't remember. The owner wasn't there. Um, um, the ones I recognise off Instagram weren't there, but there was a lovely chap there who was very helpful. And um, it, I would never have got to it without Joe driving. It's in a, it's in Bedminster. Um, it's a, just a wee normal residential kind of, you know, shops, butchers, uh, what else was there? Went to a lovely jewellery shop, didn't buy anything. Um, and yeah, just on the street and then you just go inside and it's got all the goodies, as you can imagine. And it is, they give me this free, it is no frills knitting. And... It was this was done for their second birthday in October 2023 but it was very very handy for me because I didn't have a bag with me because I'm rubbish and so there are it's not totally full there's some goodies in it and just for a bit of fun um, I got the can you see that I got a tattoo it says no frills <laughs> um it's not permanent some people have thought it was, it was permanent it's hidden under my jumper Oh, I should have said what I'm wearing, probably shouldn't I? But I'll tell you that in a minute. So this is no frills. I have no notes, which is always dangerous. No frills knitting, anyway, in Bedminster, just in Bristol. And what did I get? Well, I'll show you these first of all. If you remember, um, I knit the 100 stitch cowl a few times. I've shown it before. And this was the, the um, she's got slightly, slightly less chins than me. This is lovely Meg, I presume, who's the owner of the shop. Oh, I've got two together here. Oh, I, t I picked up two. Maybe I'll slip one of these into a giveaway at some point. Um, and it's just right, you just cast on 100 stitches, right and right and round. And um, that was um, at the counter. And then the hot, and it's got, I don't know if, that's free. It's free, so I don't see why I can't do that. It's got this in the back to go to the um, pattern for that. Just really, if you've got one of those skeins, talk about this all the time, that is too beautiful for socks, although I think any skein is wonderful for socks, this might be a good idea, uh, especially for a beginner knitter. Um, I do, when I do them now, I cast on a few extra stitches just for <laughs> extra <laughs> extra size. And then the other one, which I do mean to do, is a wee hot water bottle cover. And again, that's the details of how to get the pattern are on the back. There was a few other things, but it, that weren't to my taste. And that was just, those were at the counter and I just picked those up. And then um, I have joined up with Wool Swap. So I'm not going to show you what these wee diddly wee bits. I've got a few wee notions uh, for my partner who's in Canada. So um, if you're watching Carol, hello. <laughs> and I intend to send, once, once we get back from our travels, I intend to send off a wee wool package. I always do a wool swap on my birthday month. And I've never been disappointed um, in the goodies that I've got. And I hope nobody's ever been disappointed in the goodies that I've sent. But that's a couple of wee notiony things to pop in the parcel. And then on Friday, oh, I meant to put a, I'll see if I can get a, a picture to put up. It's the... Together shawl, our Together Kyle came out by Amy Palco of The Meaningful Stitch. I absolutely love it. It looks like a tartan, um, it's it's a, what do you call it, a Mobius twist. And, um, oh, it's just gorgeous. Go and have a look. It looks tartan. It's, you you have a main colour, but it switches the whole way through. You knit it in the round. You don't have to carry floats, anything like that. And I wanted to get yarn for that. Um, I bought the, um, 
pattern on Friday and I wanted to get a yarn for it because obviously I have no yarn that would do and this is what I got and this yarn is I just loved it straight away so this is what I got these are the colors oh the colors that there isn't as bright not even right there it's is there their name on it maybe no there's it's only a color dye lot that's not as bright <laughs> let's just say um as it's shown but those are my that thank you very much to uh joe who helped me pick these i am rubbish as you know about putting colors together and it is um creme key soul wool edelweiss classic so soft really really soft uh, what's the details it is 75 percent wool it's in another language and 25 percent polyester so you could knit socks with this and they would be beautiful i'm sure i might have some left over and i could do a pair of socks i would definitely buy this again it is so lovely so this one is um color 409 <laughs> The grey one, we did look at a lighter grey one as well, but we decided with my uh, grey hair, this one was better. Uh, 425, don't think there is, it's 420 metres per 100 grams. And then a black, well, it's almost like a charcoal black, um, is um, 426. Um, and I had never, MMM, sorry. I can't say I'll stop saying M because I probably won't. I had never seen this. I have had Creme Key, the recycled jeans wool. I really enjoyed it, but um, I think definitely would get more of this to knit socks, definitely. So that's what I got. And one other thing, which I eyed actually on Instagram. I got one more ball, but it's for a gift, so I'm not gonna show you that. It's part of this, this, this shop. And this is this, I picked up this little skein. And it again is creme key. It's called In the Mood Surprise. Uh, Muzzling free, extra fine merino and 125 metres per 50 grams. See the gorgeous colour. That's true to colour. And it is colour. It's The colour is joy. <laughs> so how can I leave it on the shelf? <laughs> um, and I plan to do one of my finished objects is a summer Jimmy Jab um, sweater, which you'll see next time. And I plan to use that for another one for the colour work. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And I had eyed that on Instagram. Um, so it was beeline <laughs> to buy it. So again, that's and this is this shop's online. It, she sells a lot of Sanders garn. Um, she had uh wool matters, but I didn't pick any of that up this time. She has um loads of mohair, she has loads of loads of samples, loads of notions, loads of needles. If you're in the area, um definitely give it a wee go. Yeah, no frills knitting. And as I say, she's online with a great, great service too. So that's the first thing we did. And was that all we did? Was that all we got? Yes. Yes, that's what we did on. <laughs> on um, there was more yarn came into my life that day, but I'll show you that at the in the actual acquisitions um, portion. I have warned you. There's a lot of yarn has come in excuse me <clears throat> has come into my house in the last week and this week i've warned you so no judgment no judgy mcjudges here um this is all good all good um we were discussing it when we were away and we're saying we have no other vices <laughs> nobody's getting hurt makes us happy and um yes we're just enjoying our hobby so much um that's probably me justifying isn't it i'm not going to justify i'm not going to justify um so then um, that night we had booked, well, I had booked a travel lodge, you know, that posh hotel, <laughs> because it turned out that the next day was Flock, which is organised, just happened to be, <laughs> which was or is organised by John and Claire of Bird Street Yarn. They're really lovely supporters of my podcast. So it was just, oh, just brilliant that it worked out um, that I could go to that too. So I booked a wee hotel and actually it turned out that Rachel and Joe stayed with over two, not in my room, but <laughs> we stayed over two. So we we had went out and got a lovely meal, um, more chat, chat, chat. And then we all came back to their, um, they had a bigger room than mine, obviously, because they were um, together. There were two of them. And um, we sat up and knit and chatted and talked about patterns and talked about 
put the world to rights as only women can whether when, when they're together um although I did depart um earlier than I would normally go to bed because I was I was wrecked <laughs> So then the next day we got up and we had, um, there was a coffee shop right at the hotel. So we got a lovely coffee and we chatted some more because we didn't have to check out till 12. And the, the um, flock started at half one, I think, <clears throat> not too far away. But my sat nav didn't like the place that they had, <laughs> they had booked into. So I had a bit of a, went around a few corners and we had a wee pub lunch beforehand. And I got the nicest macaroni cheese and... Uh, rustic chips that I have had it was lovely and we were all fed up and um chatted out by the time we got to um flock and flock is just a gathering of like-minded uh knitters uh, I don't know how many would have been there would there have been 30 or 40 I didn't count there were, we were all sitting around tables and um they John and Claire so welcome and just immediately straight in big hi and um, a few people recognised me, which was quite, which always blows me away. Hi to anybody who um, said, are you Ruth? Um, I didn't, I'm not going to say names because I'll forget somebody, but really appreciate you coming up to me and saying hello. Um, and we sat around and we ate cake, lots of eating, ate cake and drank tea and coffee and um, then chatted to people and talked about projects and admired projects and John was there with his camera taking pictures of some of the I did not he said he couldn't reduce my chins or change my hair color so I said no I'll not have a photograph taken this time and um, so he took people out and um, said he's a wonderful photographer and they got pictures taken so Joe got some pictures taken of our new designs um, and uh yes and we played some games like icebreaker games which we were woeful at uh, i don't know that we put a, much effort in to be honest because we were too busy knitting and chatting but and then they had um uh, um all their yarn there which i did a lot of damage on so birch street yarn had their yarn there and uh cat and sparrow was a pop-up they always have someone else i didn't buy anything from them because they had a lot of um drop spindles and things and i do not need to drop drop spindle i would not have the patience to drop spindle i would have it chucked out the window and um but admire those who can and they had lots of notions and um not a lot of DK hand dyed yarn and a lot of bats to to do the drop spindle and so hopefully she did well. Um, uh, the John Blonde and Claire's booth was hiving, so I hope they did well too. And lovely Bex was there. Claire's sister, she was she was doing um she was selling all the yarn and so chatty and everything. It was lovely to meet people that you've only seen online. And I'm a bit annoyed because I saw someone who I thought I recognise her. Who is she? Turned out it was Alex Bird, who does the lovely, uh, oh, I cannot be able to remember now the name of it. She has several books out and is a beautiful designer. And it was only afterwards when she posted on Instagram, I thought, oh, I should have spoken to her. And because um, I've knit one of her, I've knit a pair of her uh, mitts as a, as a gift. So next time I'll be braver. <laughs> and maybe ask somebody who is that. Um, but no, I didn't didn't get the chance to say hello to her but um I'm sure you all know her it was fantastic fantastic um designer so it was just right up my street birthday treat um a night to myself <laughs> to, to go to bed early um and of course being me I was up three times in the night but anyway I never sleep well these days. Um, some people ask me how I get so much knitting done and it's often because I'm awake at three o'clock in the morning. I was awake at three o'clock this morning, knitting away. Um, good old menopause. Um, but uh, that's maybe why I'm a bit, <laughs> a bit hysterical this morning. The adrenaline is not, has kicked in and we're okay. Um, but yes, so it was just a wonderful, wonderful weekend um, of good food, good fellowship, good good chat and just meeting two girls who I think I can call friends now and they are as lovely and friendly off screen as they are on screen so thank you Joan Rachel for just we didn't it wasn't uh you know we didn't do loads of things um it was just a perfect knitters week a couple of days away I'm sorry if you hear a bit of banging I think there's a window open in the corridor and my door's slightly rattling a wee bit. I've got a few very basic notes on my 
um, phone that I will uh, just check. <laughs> So I had mentioned in my last podcast that I was going to do a birthday giveaway. I'm going to keep that for my actual podcast next time because I know not everybody will want to watch this one. Um, so then why will I not be able to podcast for a while? Well, next Monday, come Monday coming, 1st of April, um, we are driving up as a family from Devon, which is in the southwest of England, to Edinburgh in Scotland. Last time I think it took us 11 hours. <laughs> Oh, pray for us. Um, I know for Americans that's like round the corner, but in England and Scotland the roads aren't good. There are every road seems to be getting dug up at the minute, and um I am not looking forward to it. <laughs> we go every year for meetings for the mission we work for, and we always enjoy it when we're there, but just the thought of driving up. But we price flights and it was just absolutely prohibitive um, having two teenagers now. It just doesn't work. Um, they're f well, my daughter's full price now on the plane. And uh, so we just had to suck it up and drive. So no doubt there'll be plenty of stops. Um, my husband has been ill. He's I think I mentioned before he had this uh, virus that he finds it's find it very hard to shake. So he's really tired. So we'll share the driving and put a bit of music on. <laughs> And hope, hope for the best. Do hope I'll get to knit a bit as a passenger. I'll show you what I'm going to take with the travel knitting plans Um, I have. And then we're up there from Monday uh, to the Saturday. The meetings finish on the Saturday. Um, we're going a few things. The means don't start to the Wednesday. So I've booked, Um, my son just loves history. So um, I've booked to go into the castle. I couldn't get in last year because my grandfather's name is in a book in the castle. So it'd be nice to see that. And then on the Wednesday, my daughter and I hope to go to Kathy's Knits and um, Ginger Twist. And when you see the yarn that has come into my house, you'll say, why? Why, oh why, Ruth, are you doing this? Because you have to. <laughs> because you're in Edinburgh. <laughs> so that's the plans and then we have meetings with um all the workers from from the whole of the UK and Ireland are coming so it'll be lovely we haven't I haven't seen many of them in years and all their kids and our kids hang out with the other teenagers so it is a good time and then on the Sunday myself and my daughter Eva are going over to see my mum and dad in Northern Ireland for a my whistle stop tour just three days um, just to touch base because my daughter's doing her GCSEs this year and will not be able to travel for a wee while while she studies, while she revises and she actually sits her exams. So that's why I will not be able to podcast for a while. <laughs> and I thought if I do this whole, this chat, everything, I mean, we're on 22 minutes and I haven't shown you anything, um, then um, it would be ridiculous. So let's show you something. Okay, what am I wearing? You've seen this before. This is the Lady Whistledown sweater by Twin Set and Pearl, who I went to see. But more important, in gorgeous yarns, which was gifted to me, I must say that. It is the end of March, but it's really chilly here. And I actually quite like the fact I'm finding it chilly. <laughs> if you've watched, you'll know my condition. Um, and But more importantly is this beauty, which actually goes really well with this jumper. This was given to me by lovely Rachel. It wasn't knit for me, but when she when she saw it, when she finished it or when she looked at it, she thought it'd be perfect for me with the yellows, as you know, my favorite color. And just so happens the two dresses that I had on um, when I went to see them, this went with both of them. So this is the, I've written it down. This is the BLT shawl, and I will definitely be knitting one of these um, by Sherry McEwen. It's on Ravelry and I'll put it in my notes below. Um. Look at that. So this isn't knit by me. With the, it's one of those um, shawls that you can knit as big as you want. So it would do with a wee, I was thinking it would be a brilliant for a sock set. Um, you know, if you've got a 50 or 75 gram um, main color and then, you know, the 20 gram for the um, other color or all one color there's no there's no rules all one color so I will be making one of these at some point it's a free pattern forgot to say that so is there anything better even though you're a knitter is there anything better than being given something that's hand knit and I wore it all weekend <laughs> well it goes right down 
So thank you very much, Rachel. So that was where the gifting started and it basically didn't stop. <laughs> So let me show you what um, Rachel then gave me these. I think she had them in stash and she thought I would I would use them and I, I very well will. So there's two each of these. That's greener. That's a more of a limey yellow. Oh, it's nothing like it. Sorry. But it goes with that. I have two of them, as I say. See that there? That's And this is from... Oh, it's attached. This is called Botany Lace and it's from, you may look up at the screen because I'll not be able to say that, will I? Ar Aracunia Yarns, they're both fr all from Aracunia Yarns. Uh, natural inspiration from Chile. I have knit with this before. I had some um, silk from them before. I can't remember what I knit with it. And I've said I've got two of the yellow and two, it's a more limey yellow than that and two of this. <laughs> So we'll see what we come up with for that. And she even has them all balled up, which makes my heart happy. So that was also gifted. Then when we went to, excuse me, as I just take a slurp, I have a very dry mouth. Then um, when we went to, it, when I arrived, there was a few minutes. No, it was after we came back. I got to see in person the Ruth Shawl. <laughs> If you don't watch Twin Set and Pearl, and why don't you, please go over and watch them. They have a YouTube channel and over 100 designs on Ravelry. And I'm doing a um, make-along T&P year 24, so go check that out. Um, and from the 1st of April, they are doing a knit-along on, I think, Ravelry and Instagram. I can't remember. Go and check that out on their channel of all of the shawls. They name many of the shawls after family members. And so they um, are doing, um, uh, they just put on details on Instagram to tear yesterday, a wee reel, and um, they are doing a knit along too for all the family names. And I have by extension <laughs> got into that family. In December, they raised a lot of money from sales of their patterns for the hospital I used to work at as a midwife in Bangladesh, Lamb Hospital. And they wanted to do something that would have continuous um, chance for people to donate. And they have designed a pattern. Um, Joe has designed a pattern. And it's called the Ruth Shawl. I mean, my life is just complete. Now, I have to say, when I watched it on their podcast, I was like, oh no, what if I don't like this? <laughs> it is stunning. Saw it in real life. Um, her version is like a, a putty colour and yellow for me um and it just didn't show up i don't think on the camera very well on the video very well it, it i mean it is gorgeous i think you could knit 10 of them and they would all look different and they had gifted me some it's not out yet it's going into testing i'm not sure when it's going to be out but all doing all all money raised from that is going to go to lamb hospital so i once it comes out i am going to plead with you even if you will never knit it i want you to buy the pattern <laughs> and all proceeds will be going to lamb and this is the yarn that they donate. They didn't donate. They um, gifted me for my birthday, and it's because only the best for me, you know. It's Regia silk. Oh, that's that is the color Regia silk four ply. I've knit with this before, and it's just gorgeous to knit with. Four hundred meters per hundred grams. Um, as I say, it's silk, wool, silk, and um, nylon when it's in a different. And they gave me two of those. And then for the little accent colour, they give me yellow, which is a Scapia's Dawn, Dawn's Daisy, please with my pronunciation. And it's Alpaca Rhythm and obviously yellow in the colour Disco. Perfect. And to top it all off, Joe made me a wee stitch marker. Excuse me. The Alpaca's lovely wee stitch marker. So that was a lovely birthday gift for them to, to knit the Ruth shawl when it comes out. Cannot wait. I'm gonna to have to put a label on it or something. Said so this is me, this is the Ruth shawl. <laughs> so that's that. And the birthday gifts just keep coming. Well, I wanted to show you this. This was a Mother's Day gift for we've had Mother's Day in the UK for my daughter. Look at this. A frog holding, crocheted frog holding flowers i might show it in my next podcast too because i think it needs the recognition and she put wire in the feet 
so you, she, it can sit up. Isn't she fantastic? Might be biased. <laughs> and just yesterday, last night, this book arrived. I got um, an Amazon voucher for Christmas and I ordered this at Christmas and it arrived today. I haven't even arrived yesterday. It's all colour work. Um, I haven't really had a, a good look at it. Um, we'll go through that properly maybe another time. So that's Arctic Knits by hmm, this person. I'm sure you all know her. There's jumper socks, hats and mittens. Then... If you're bored, switch off. I will not be offended at all. This little beauty arrived. A lovely friend of mine. The only good thing, the only good thing about not living near family or I do have friends that don't be, <laughs> don't mean that, or friends that you have, um, lifelong friends, will I say, um, is that <laughs> They send you gifts and money for birthdays and Christmas. That's I'm sorry, that can't, that doesn't sound right. Um, I have lived in many places in my life, and I am very blessed to have friends all over the world, and they are so lovely to me. And I don't take them for granted, but I don't see them. Some people I haven't seen in years, and the particular person who sent me this, I haven't seen in years, and we just contact each other every so often. But isn't that what true friendship is? Someone that you haven't seen in years, but when you meet up you just click and straight back in as if you saw each other the week before anyway enough to say it. this gorgeous wee sock bag harris tweed it is from so can sue so can sue on is it etsy etsy i have another project bag by them i've had for a while and uh, i mean could this be any more perfect Maybe if it was yellow, but you know, we'll not, we'll not, we'll not, uh, just perfect for a one skein sock, um, oh, round bottom. Thank you very much, Ellie. <laughs> she doesn't watch this podcast. She's not a sewer or she's not a knitter, but, um, she ha knows my knitting heart and she sent me that. I'd have to take that to Scotland. It would be very, very apt, wouldn't it? Then someone who I don't know who I don't know who it is, this arrived. If it's you, let me know. And this is uh, Siobhan's Crafts. I mean, it's just, it's me. <laughs> Siobhan Craft. It's one thing I love about being born in um, March. It's always daffodil colours, yellow, sunny, happy colours. And the colourway is daffodil. And it's sock and it's 400 metres, super wash merino nylon. And it came with this week project bag. Um, I will think I'll use that for the usual Marie Curie um, sock quest and bless someone else. Um, I presume the person who sent it will know that I would do that with it um, and maybe pop it in this wee bag as well. So thank you to whoever that is. If you do want to let me know, let me know, please. Then another lovely friend. <laughs> I'm sorry if this is like piggery. I don't show you these things to say, look at me, look at me. I just want to feel so blessed. It's one of the Emma Ball happy sheep bags. I mean, look, look at the grin on that boy. Well, he's not as impressed. He's maybe out in the rain. From Emma Ball. And that came with a wee packet of cards. And also, my friend said she didn't order this, so maybe it's just because it's getting out of date. Also, a 2024 um, tea towel with puffins on it. So... That would, must have been an extra wee kind of freebie in on it. But um, look at this. Look at the size of it. It's massive. De definitely a sweater size or a, a large shawl size. So that's from Emma Ball. I'm sure you all know Emma Ball. I don't even have places to put this. And is this my last of my birthday treats? Last, but I got other birthday treats. I got candles. I got, um, I've been spoiled <laughs> rotten. My wee boy who's six foot, um, even gave me um, a lovely wee coaster to put my cup on um, that he bought with his own money. He's only 14. <laughs> and he gave me that today and a lovely card as well. And my daughter gave me my favourite chocolate and um, a lovely card as well. But I must show you, R romance is not dead in my, my, my um, marriage. If you can read this, I'll hold it up. Getting older can be dis depressing. So I thought you could do with it. I can't read backwards. Thought you could do with a lift. 
I'll maybe put my hand over the message. He didn't redeem himself in the message. Thought I could do with a lift, a stair lift. <laughs> Does that say the state of our marriage? I don't know. He thinks he's funny, so I have to let him. But this came a long time ago, actually. And I saw it, but it went into my husband's study. And I may have sent him a link at one point. I don't know. But he actually paid attention. He doesn't normally. And this is what's arrived. Now, this is the third thing that of the same ilk that I've got for my birthday. But most sorry about the rustling. Most of you know I can never get enough of these. And it is another project bag. Look at that. Oh. And this is from a lovely, I love her project bag because it's canvas. But it's got a floppy bottom. You all know I love a floppy bottom. And I, I don't like structured, um, uh, what do you call them? Her jet bags. Oh dear, I'm getting carried away now. And this is by um, Tea Cake and Make on Etsy. She's got some gorgeous, and she did a, a spring box, no, a Valentine box or spring box. Can't remember. But so there was that. There was oh, some wee stickers. Never underestimate the power of a woman with knitting skills. There was a, a tape measure, all sort of pinks. There is a pencil with happy stitching on it. Gosh, she did well, even though I directed them to this. <laughs> there, sorry about the rust one. There's a wee pair of scissors. Nice wee tea bag, have that later. Some labels, handmade. A few jumpers I have at the moment. I could do with those on because I always can't work out what's back and what's front. Some stitch markers, I'll take them out. Uh, oh, keeps, just keeps going. A pin, which I can add, I've been all talking over, which I can add to my pin thing behind me and it says ticket to happiness. I think that's a, a big claim, isn't it? <laughs> and then last but not least, a wee to-do list post-it um, pad. So I have done very very well for my birthday <laughs> it's always nice to feel loved i feel loved i don't need presents oh look the rain is just pouring down now i don't need presents to know i'm loved but it's always nice to get something isn't it so that's that that's all the birthday stuff i think yes <sighs> shall we go on to I have one more thing that came in absolutely unexpected. She didn't know it was my birthday, so I've decided this is for my birthday. And um, it is from the lovely, lovely, my bro, oh, my brain, Nancy from um, Knit Sip Happy. She's in Canada. She has a prolific sock designer. You'll know her if you watch me, I'm sure. And I, my favourite sweets, <laughs> I think I'm old before my time, are licorice all sorts. There we go. Knit, sip, happy, happy, cheers. She always has a wee glass of wine when she's recording. I would be on the back if I did that. And out of the blue, no warning at all, these arrived in the post. Matching, matching Ziploc bag and everything. She thought it all through. <laughs> now these were flat packed, which was brilliant, but I very badly skinged them up. So it's 250 grams and a coordinating mini. And it's um from Turtle Pearl Yarn. I obviously wouldn't get that here so what a treat to get sent it's turtle pearl striped turtle toes and the colorway is all sorts of fun and she has knitted this and i commented on it and it's basically licorice all sorts so these for once are going to be for me if i i always knit things up and give them away but i absolutely have to have these so two 250 grams and a 20 gram definitely 50 grams isn't it 75 25 and um dying for you to match so hopefully these will be absolutely matched thank you so much nancy i've obviously already thanked her it was such a shock to get you when something arrives you think i haven't ordered anything and um back in the ziploc matching ziploc bag <laughs> coordinating ziplock bag and uh, it says um dear ruth happy knitting with your favorite sweetie yarn so thank you so so much nancy okay shall we get on to the other what, 40 minutes okay here's the story <laughs> my mom had given me some money for my birthday 
and another friend had given me some money for my birthday and until maybe two or three years ago that money would have always found its way into the groceries or something and I never really got to spend it so my mum actually sent, sent it and said this is for you to spend on you <laughs> so I did now on last Friday a couple of three new patterns came out um, from twin set and pearl two sock patterns and a shawl pattern and I have been long admiring <coughs> excuse me this shawl pattern but it was um done originally for botanical yarn and but after a while then the designers allowed to um send put it out again what do you call that anyway they're they they take back ownership of it so they they released these three patterns on friday and i was with them when they released and so i bought the um pattern and i wanted to get some special yarn for it because i thought well you know so we went to the twin set and pearl um and their colors oh, it was a massive stall i could have taken two of each of everything um but this is what i ended up with yes <laughs> so much you don't know what to do so for this i'll put pat i'll put hopefully i'll put the picture up here and this is what i chose for my colors oh that's darker stupid weather yes so it's like remember it's like that but i'm going to bring it up close the speckles in this one and look at the drape oh it's gonna be gorgeous and this is special yarn, Birch Street yarn. This one's Kelp and this one's Mallard. Again, this is what it's actually coloured like. And it is, <clears throat> are you ready for this? 70% baby alpaca, 20% silk and 10% cashmere. Remember, I was given money. <laughs> so that's for that. I'm going to regret this afterwards. I have stuff everywhere. Then my gorgeous friend... Um, who his name has just <laughs> name has just totally gone from me. Oh, the joy of the menopause. Hang on till I it's the Rich Hill Shawl. I know that. Oh dear me, that is terrible. Um bear with, hold the call, hold the line collar. Oh, I'm not able to find it now. Um this I've knit the Bally Claire shawl um by her. Um oh dear me, I should cut this out. I'm sorry, I don't can't find it. Oh that's terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Um Aha Um She is originally from my honor if anybody else is going through this please sympathize it feels like you're losing your mind um i remember i knit i've knit several ballet claire shawls by brenda brayfield designs sorry brenda couldn't even remember my husband's name yesterday so don't worry about it um she designed the ballet claire shawl which i've knit several of and she donated patterns of she came out with two new shawls um the one i want to do is the return to rich hill she is originally from northern ireland um so she names most of her patterns after places in northern ireland uh, but she always jokes that some of them she can't because people she lives in canada now isn't it yes um and some people out there can't pronounce the name so she's done all right this time so she has um the rich hill shawl which i will put a picture up here and she very very kindly gifted um a copy to me and I really want to do that. Um, she's also donated a few copies uh, for you lot, but I will talk more about that whenever I've I'm knitting it and we'll get a giveaway going. And this is what I chose, almost her colors actually. And I'll show you this one. I think I've maybe taken a screenshot of a different one. So gorgeous, gorgeous eyelets. And, and there's, a, there's a beautiful one. Um, let's see if I can get more detailed. Uh, yeah you can see the more details of it and I think I've picked two colours that are very similar again they're not coming up properly that's them there no that's not even yeah there so this one is Figgy gorgeous same cashmere um, 
blend as before and this one is no name no no name that doesn't help does it anyway that's slightly darker so those were my big treats my big splurges um 70% alpaca 20% silk and 10% cashmere so I have bought with actual projects in mind and they're all shawls as usual as usual they're all shawls and then the last thing that I bought that time <laughs> I went to sit down and there was a lady opposite me at the table and I fully blame you for this purchase and she had this gorgeous skein now they had a lot I could have matched it with I don't know how many different colors that they had coordinated the way they had their stall set out they had like maybe this and then either side solid colors that would have coordinated with it just brilliant especially for me who's color challenged color cording challenge and it's called do you think asaurus and I am going to knit one of the um power of three put a picture up um that is by twin set and pearl because obviously I need to have some twin set and pearl things on the needles um and um that's what I'm going to use that for just because I was with them and I bought it there and it'll always have lovely memories I think I was never going to see them again but um look at the green the speckles gorgeous 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 so that was fine we played a few more games and um we had a great time uh, you know what's coming? <laughs> I went to have a look. What did I go to have a look at? I went to have a look at Cat and Sparrow because I hadn't hadn't seen them. I just want to check that I've said everything. Um, I've written here. Went to pot. <laughs> My good intentions went to pot. I um I hadn't seen the Cat and Sparrow, so I went up. And as I went up, they'd lifted up a big big bucket. I mean bucket of reduced yarn, reduced to five pounds each. So you ready? <laughs> I got these two. Look. I mean, there was loads. There was loads to choose from. No idea what I'm going to do with those. And then I got these three. So basically, a, well, a short sleeve sweater quantity at least. It's darker than that. And I got these. So five pounds each for hand dyed yarn. Come on now. Nobody would have turned that down. Now, come on. I said to them when I lifted this handful, I said, is that too much? Is that, should I be leaving some? But there was loads. So, and it was first come, first served. And I'm not sure I'll ever get back to it again. So, will I do that for my screenshot? <laughs> um, I'm not sure I'll ever be back. Um, so, I just thought, you know what? That's, I'm going to make the most of it. So, there's two sweater quantities and another shawl for what five ten fifteen twenty twenty five thirty thirty forty pounds hand dyed brilliant i was like a child at christmas as you can imagine that's it that's the piggery some of it was gifted a lot of it was bought but with gifted money so it doesn't count it cancels itself out doesn't it right i'm in 48 minutes and this is ridiculous hopefully if you're still with me you've taken a few breaks and last but not least um i want to talk about travel knitting and we are going up to scotland a good 11 12 hour journey i'm aware only going one way because we're flying over to northern ireland to see my parents poor husband and son have to drive back but i will need some knitting now um there won't be a lot of knitting time maybe the first few days i might get a bit of knitting won't be a lot of knitting time um because there's meetings and you have to do you know chores you have to help with cooking all that sort of stuff and by bedtime you're pretty tired so I'm going to take one project that is absolutely easy to talk. Um, I took it actually at the weekend and did quite a bit on it because it's easy to talk with. You don't have to um, think too much. And even if you make a mistake, you'd probably get away with it. And it is the Soho Square. I'll put a picture up. You'll all know it. it's by Jackie Rose. It's basically the same as the um, one that Pearl Soho did but with stripes <laughs> I've got it in my John Arbin bag that I got last um, summer when we went to the John Arbin weekend and I'll just show you very quickly I've done a little bit the light has really dimmed here it's obviously night outside so hopefully it's everything's okay so it is just half and half wrap is the word I was wanting if you've done a half and half wrap that's exactly what it is which is like my stomach's rumbling so I've done the first bit it's going to blow out 
I'm on the first stripe. If you've seen the photograph, you'll see there's two stripes. I'm on the first stripe, so I'm doing I'm not my usual colours. Um, navy and green. And then I'm going to do... I have them all caked up. Ugh. I'm going to do a, red, a royal blue. So quite subtle changes, but you can see... I drop this, I'll not pick it up again. There we go. You can see it's just enough that you can you can see the contrast. So it's navy, green, royal blue and red. Wine red, a really lovely deep wine red. More, it's not coming up for it. The colours changed so much here. I wonder should I put a light on? That helped at all, maybe. Um, that's coming up orange. It's not, it's a lovely garnet red. So I think that'll be fantastic. Knit, knit, knit. There are um, German short rows, but that's no problem. It's just fantastic. And it's all, all Centrum, one of my favourite, favourite yarns. I'll not go through the colourways um, this time. Um, I got this from uh, Midwinter Yarns, was having a sellout before they moved to Shetland. And um, I went a bit mad. They were literally giving it away and bought all that basically oh last way last year sometime and so that's i'll take that in the car easy to fit up my feet and um that'll be that and i can just sit and knit and chat and do whatever and that's fine and then um but we're going over to ireland and we're only taking hand luggage um just backpacks um, so I won't have much space and my mum and dad are usually busy, busy, busy. So don't get much knit in there either. So I thought I would try and get on top, start a, a kick start to my Marie Curie sock quest socks. Every year, um, lovely doctor, she goes by Sherlock Knits, Sherlock Knits on um, Dr. Sarah on Instagram. She is a doctor that works in Marie Curie hospice and she um, puts a, an appeal out every year for socks for all of the um, patients in the hospice over Christmas and even for their families if there's enough. And their um, emblem is the daffodil. I don't know where I put it there. I thought I might send the socks in this this year. The daffodil, so she wants yellow socks. And these are the two I have. Now they're blowing out really bright. They're not as bright as that. Uh, one was given to me. Um, a lovely viewer sent me a goodie box. And so I'm going to use this, all yellow. And the other one is, um, I got in a seal from Ginger Twist Studios. Um, and it is liquid sunshine. <laughs> Perfect. 80% um, blue face, blue faced Leicester and 20% nylon. So I will cake these up and pop them in my, um, that's a wee bit variegated, but you can't, it's not. I'd pop them in my uh, bag uh and see how far i get i might only take one but um get those caked up in amongst all the other stuff i need to do before we leave so that's my travel knitting plans taking the soho square and um the sock just the sock knitting so i can go right and round and round um the joys of of um it's literally like night out there um the joys of of holidaying or trips in the uk you never know what to take <laughs> for weather it does look like it's gonna be wet and chilly um so i don't know what nets i'm gonna take or anything like that i haven't even thought about it yet um i'm just we're just at that stage um in the week where we're wearing stuff that can still be washed <laughs> and dried and it packed so that's the waffle 53 minutes i'm not gonna have nothing to share with you i normally share something from god's word i definitely will do that next time other than it's easter <laughs> <laughs> the most pinnacle part of the, the, the Christian calendar. Um, if you don't celebrate Easter, um, I hope you think about it. <laughs> it's not all about bunnies and eggs and holidays. I hope you'll realise that the real significance of Easter is that our wonderful Saviour died for us so that our sins could be forgiven and that we could one day go to be with to heaven with him. Um, it's a roller coaster weekend from the sadness of his death to the amazingness of his resurrection and um i hope that if you do follow the lord that you will have a, um, an easter to remember i hope you do have eggs i hope you do have 
<laughs> good holiday time. Um, I'm not going to turn down chocolate anytime soon, but um, I really hope you'll remember the significance of Easter um, and that it won't get overlooked as, as we celebrate every year. Sometimes I think we can dull it down a bit. But um, just remember the sacrifice our wonderful saviour gave for us, that we could be redeemed, we could be saved and that we could live forever with him one day in heaven. Um, that's it. I am spoiled. I am blessed. I am blown away by kindness. Can't tell you. It's just I never, ever take it for granted. I don't expect anybody to send me anything but I appreciate every single thing. I have oodles of yarn, so there'll obviously have to be giveaways soon. I might do a little um, project bag de at some point. <laughs> Whenever the kids were younger, we always worked on a one toy in, one toy out method. Um, and um, I might just give them away or I might, um, yes, I think I need to think seriously about this addiction. But we have hopefully years of knitting ahead to knit up all these goodies, all these, you know, I knit fast. Um, as I say, as I people always say, how on earth, as I said, I don't sleep very well. So often there's a lot of knitting going on during the night, um, but I also knit fast. So that's all to say, nearly on the hour. Not a not a piece of knitting shown. I hope you still had some um, downtime with me today and you enjoyed my wee story of my trip. Oh, it was just wonderful. It really was. Um, I hope I um, you'll probably hear about it on Rachel and Joe's podcast as well. But um, for now, me and my yarn <laughs> are going to get going to get into plastic bags and tucked away, away from the moths, away from the creepy crawlies. Any chance of any of them being being eaten or anything like that? I'm going to get the yellow skein skeined up and I might just go and see if there's any. I made some banana bread yesterday, see if there's any left. I've done, I had to do um, a load of baking to take up because obviously there's over a hundred of us and, uh, you know, we're, many of us are Irish and like, like a wee tea break. So I had to make lots of tray bakes and things like that yesterday. A few more to make. My son's going to make some of them. He's really, really good wee baker and he's going to make some. They finished school today for Easter and he's going to make some at the weekend to take up with us. Um, But they wouldn't miss one. Sure they wouldn't. They wouldn't miss one. <laughs> So anyway, from a very dark and rainy Devon, I will wish you a happy Easter. And until I see you, oh, the stories I'll have to tell next time. Until I see you next time, you look after yourselves. Keep on knitting and God bless. Bye.